Okay, so as we continue to look at Psalms chapter 23, um, we're going we're gonna to break this down because this is such an amazing, an amazing psalm, and I think that we can learn so much from it. A lot of times what people do when they get into these psalms, because they're not always the easiest to understand, what people do is they take the psalms and they relate them to themselves or to their situation, whereas a lot of the psalms were written to the children of Israel. A lot of the psalms were written about what's going to happen to them during the during the you know end times when the Antichrist is on earth and so on and so forth. It's their history, right? So I wanted to share just a um, an understanding that I received from this book. This is a a, a comment on the Psalms by Leslie M. Grant. And I don't typically drop names like that, but I found this to be, for me, a very good tool in understanding the book of Psalms and, and what some of these uh, uh, Psalms meant. So as we jump back into Psalms 23, right? So we were, as we read it, the Lord is my shepherd. I will lack nothing. He makes me to lie down. So that was the first uh, verse that we did, right? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall lack nothing. Today, we're going to look at the second verse, which says, He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me besides waters of rest, which I'm a poet. I love writing poetry. To me, that's just beautiful language, the way David put this together. But we also need to understand what David was saying here. And uh, I just want to read something from this book real quick. And what he says is, the shepherd does not always keep them on the move, but makes them lie down in green pastures. That's verse two, right? This is after they have been feeding when they need time to digest what they have eaten. Spiritually speaking, just as sheep, we need time to meditate on the food we have received from the word of God. To me, that's such an incredible incredible word right there in that book so again the verse says that he makes me lie down in green pastures he leads me besides waters of rest and so you know we're constantly thinking that we have to be on the move we're constantly thinking that we have to be doing something but the shepherd and i love the imagery there the shepherd's not constantly moving the sheep there's periods of time where the shepherd takes the sheep and he allows them to lie down in green pastures. Green, man, that color is just amazing too. It's green pastures, it's flush pastures, it's 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 a comfortable resting uh, place. And as he's allowing them to rest spiritually, again, you want to remember that when you're reading the Old Testament, a lot of the actual figures and a lot of the things that we're looking at there are spiritual to us in the New Covenant, right? So, I love it when he says that it's a picture of uh, uh, Jesus allowing us to rest and to meditate on the food that we've eaten, to meditate on the word that you maybe got on Sunday or on Wednesday night, to meditate on the word that you've got during your personal and private studies. God wants us to digest this word. You know, later on in scriptures, he says, man, listen, you guys should be past drinking milk. By now, you should be eating meat. And so there's levels of these things, right? There's milk and there's meat as you mature, as you grow. Um, the Holy Spirit helps you to become a complete, full-grown man, son, woman in Christ. That's God's goal, to complete us, to mature us. And in order for him to do that, we have to have periods of rest where we actually sit back and we meditate on the word of God. And we allow that word to renew our mind. We allow that word to change the way we think so that we have the mind of Christ. So that we can do the things that God has called us to do. But here's the hitch. If you're not spending time with the good shepherd and allowing him to lead you and allowing him to guide you and to feed you, then guess what? Then you miss out on those periods of rest where he allows you to take the food that he's placed in you and allow that food to mature you and to expand in you uh, and to stretch you and to help you be the Christian that God has called you to be, right? So listen, spend time with the good shepherd. Allow him to lead you and guide you. But as he's leading you and guide you, be mindful of what you're eating, right? Because the shepherd's only going to feed you good things. And as he's feeding you these things, his purpose is that you would then take what he's fed you, 
Meditate on them day and night is what he told Joshua. Meditate on that food. Meditate on that word day and night and allow that word to renew your mind. Allow that word to expand you so that you in turn begin to reflect your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This is an amazing word. Y'all be blessed until next time. This is your man Mel with Mel's Block.